Music has always been a source of joy and inspiration for people all over the world. But did you know that playing a musical instrument can also have a profound impact on our brains? It's all thanks to a process called neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to change and adapt in response to new experiences. When we engage in activities like playing music, our brains form new connections and pathways, allowing us to improve and even excel at tasks we once thought were impossible. Recently, I started to have a great interest in neuroscience inspired by the great Andrew Huberman. Uh, you've probably seen him all over the internet by now. I'd love to inspire you and go deeper into our shared passion for music and give you a better understanding why you should also be playing the guitar or piano or any musical instrument for that matter. I'll place all links to the referenced research and papers uh, that I mentioned in this video in the comment section below. And for simplicity, I'll be using the terms study and research for different types of scientific output uh, interchangeably. So imagine your brain as a grand intricate orchestra. As you play an instrument, they harmonize into an incredible symphony, reshaping, adapting and evolving. When we bring together the art of music and the science of neuroplasticity, a beautiful relationship emerges full of structural and cognitive expansion. I believe it's like going to the gym for your brain. As with your bodily health and fitness, your brain fitness is equally important. Let's explore the latest research on how playing music shapes, molds and even heals the brain layer by layer. Studies like those by Gazer and Schlaug reveal that playing an instrument expands our gray matter, the neural landscape where memories, movement and hearing reside. The pianist, for instance, engages the mind's full spectrum and in doing so, the brain's regions become harmoniously connected, improving intelligence and dexterity. The more you practice and play, the more these brain areas become activated and connected. When we play music, it isn't just our fingers or vocal cords that move. Our minds generate new neurons. Neurogenesis, the birth of these fresh cells, enriches attention, language and problem solving. Neurons find new paths, bringing benefits that may even aid neurological conditions like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, giving hope through this form of therapy. It's been known for a long time uh, that music and learning to play music can help a great deal with various therapies, including rehabilitative therapy after stroke. Imagine, for instance, that you lost the ability to do something like that, right? Which is a task that is very simple for you and me, but potentially if you'd had a stroke, that would be a very difficult thing. La, 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 la. So if you lost the ability to have that abstract spatial representation, you could retrain them to have this auditory association and then that would help so that they would have something concrete to latch on to. Imagine the white matter as threads binding the brain's regions, thickening and strengthening with every practiced note. Schlaug and Bankson's research reveal how musicians show robust white matter development in areas tied to motor skills, language and memory. These changes in the corpus callosum can result in improved communication between brain areas, which can enhance a range of cognitive abilities, including language, memory and spatial skills. Playing an instrument demands remarkable synchronization of hand, eye and brain. Such coordination spills over into everyday tasks, making activities like driving or sports smoother. A study published in the journal Cerebral Cortex found that playing a musical instrument was associated with increased gray matter volume in brain areas involved in processing sound, movement and memory. Can music make you smarter? The answer is 100%. Research, including Jacobson's studies, finds that musicians have an edge in verbal memory, executive function and spatial temporal skills. Musical training has a way of stretching our IQ, especially in children, who show enhanced cognitive abilities from an early age. And these gains continue. 
A publication in the journal PLOS ONE found that older adults who participated in musical training had sharper memory and attention, also increased language abilities. Playing an instrument or listening to music can quiet the storm of stress and anxiety almost like a lullaby that steadies the breath and clears the mind. Studies in Frontiers in Psychology have even shown therapeutic effects for those with depression, Parkinson's and anxiety. Musicians often play together, creating a wordless bond through sound. And in these group settings where notes replace words, social skills flourish, teamwork, empathy and communication strengthen as musicians share rhythm and space. Creativity thrives in the musician's mind. As we navigate new melodies or improvise, our brain's cortex, a center for problem solving and decision making, lights up sparking innovative thoughts and ideas. This engagement reshapes how we think making musicians not only creators of art, but explorers of imagination. Even after we stop playing, music's effects remain, echoing in the brain's memory. This article from Frontiers in Psychology explores how long-term keyboard practice shapes the brains of middle-aged musicians. Using MRI scans, researchers observed significant structural differences in the sensory motor and auditory regions among professional keyboard players. Musicians exhibited greater motor coordination and hand independence, reflecting structural changes in brain areas responsible for movement and memory. The findings suggest that sustained intensive musical practice can lead to lasting adaptations in brain morphology, supporting cognitive skills such as sight reading and memory even into middle age. Research by Rodriguez reveals that musical training strengthens divided attention and focus. Through the repetitive practice of chords or scales, the brain's focus sharpens like a lens, heightening the ability to zero in on details. This focused habit often seeps into daily life where musicians find ease in concentrating on conversations, stories and even the smallest sounds. Neuroplasticity makes our brains adaptable at any age and music training can improve memory, focus and emotional health in people young and old. While playing an instrument has a more active impact on neuroplasticity, Listening also stimulates areas related to memory and emotion, offering therapeutic benefits. Any instrument can foster neuroplasticity, though complex instruments like the piano or guitar may engage more brain areas due to the coordination and multitasking, resulting in broader cognitive benefits. Consistency matters more than duration. Even 15 to 30 minutes of daily practice can lead to noticeable improvements over time in memory, focus and overall mental agility. It is clear that playing the piano or guitar or music in general has a huge amount of positive effects on the brain thanks to the process of neuroplasticity. So if you've ever wanted to play an instrument uh, but thought it was too late, well, think again. Whether you're just starting out on your musical journey or you have been playing for years, the science behind neuroplasticity tells us that it's never too late to learn a new skill and challenge your brain. There is no doubt that music can have a profound impact on your brain and overall well-being. I'm positive you may just discover a whole new side of yourself in the process. If you like this video, feel free to share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.